welcome. You're going to see all the damage I did at the cast on party on Sunday. Come on, let's see what's going on. Welcome to Recreational Knitting. My name is Karen, and you're going to see some things that I cast on this past Sunday. Uh, had no business casting on. Who can relate? Raise your hand. Yes. Um, we had a wonderful time. Um, many, many, many of you stopped in. Many of you stayed for the entire uh, party, and it was great. It was from 10 to 4 Eastern Time. And we had some beautiful things that were cast on. We had, I think, three continents represented. I could be wrong. But yeah, we had people from Canada. We had people from the United States. Um, I think there was someone from Portugal and there was someone from, and most certainly we had some people there from England. So we had a great time. A lot of things were cast on. Probably some things are gonna be ripped out as a result. One thing that I learned, it's hard to cast on while you're having a good time. Casting on probably needs more attention. So I'm just gonna dig right in and you're gonna see what I cast on. The first thing I cast on was this basic organic, organic tea and it's by Cleome, Cleome Smith Knits. And of course, I probably did not pronounce any of that right. Well, Knits I got right. Um, this is a great t-shirt. It's written for any weight yarn. Hey, yeah. I see, I see some sport all kinds of weights with this. I'm really enjoying the yarn that I'm using, which is 60% cotton and 40% linen in this natural. And it's from Walnut Designs Farm out of Carlisle, Pennsylvania. She has an Etsy shop, look her up. This is great, great yarn. If you're looking for a cotton linen, I would recommend I really enjoyed it. I actually had to stop myself from knitting it so I could get some more things cast on. But this is a winner. All right, let me show you what I got done during the cast on party. And I've not really picked it up since. And of course I've got a couple stitches that fell off the needle. You start from the neck, neckline, and you just knit in stockinette, and you do your raglan, raglan increases, such as that. That's about uh, maybe an hour and a half, two hours of knitting, maybe? Something like that. But I'll have to go back and pick up those stitches and again this is what I cast on with and it is a fingering weight so this means it's going to take a while I'm okay with that I like it thumbs up keeping it the next the next uh, cast on was a tanker tea tank car tea by Anna Ananina Jutu, she's a Finnish designer. She has a podcast called Ananina Knits, I think. Mm, uh, I could be wrong there. But this is the back and it is knit in pieces. This is the first time that I will ever have 
knit a top down um, in pieces. And I think you connect as you as you get under the arms. But I haven't read that far. Anybody else do that? Um, yeah, so she used Drops Bell for hers. And this is color number 17, which I think is called Petrol. And it's a deep, dark, beautiful uh, blue-green teal. It's got a little green, little blue. It's really nice. And these are 50 gram balls. And in them is 53% cotton, 33% viscose, and 14% linen. So a little less linen. I'm okay. I know many, many, many of you have knit with this and love it. Um, I'm getting down. I've used probably 20 grams. And right now I'm knitting across the back neckline. And I'm not sure how it really goes, but this is the ribbing. And it will be more that way, I think. So, obviously not blocked, not great stitches because it's not blocked. I'm enjoying this. I was hoping for a little um, tighter fabric just because I like, I like that tighter fabric. But in reality, living in Florida, this is probably a better fabric for me. So I'll, I'll wait until I get into the actual fabric, which is gonna be garter stitch for a bit, and then it goes, I believe, into stockinette. So that's, that's where I got on that. So I'm almost finished this part. I think I have two more rows to go. And yeah, I've, I've used about 20 grams, something like that. So that was my second cast on. Aren't I a bad girl? And the third cast on was a pattern that was recommended to me by Mouses Makes Mandy. Uh, she has uh, knit this several times, she said. This is The Breezeway by Fogbound Knits. I'm sure many of you have knitted just a plain tee. It's what I was looking for something that's just plain because you're gonna see the yarn that I'm using. Yeah, here's two of the skeins. And because they're hand-dyed yarn, and this is Trilogy yarns, and the color is 12-year-old boys, let's laugh, unicorn farts. Um, and I have three skeins of this, and this is how far I've gotten which was not far at all. But I am using these two skeins when I get into the actual body of the uh, sweater, I will likely start some helical knitting. Um, I've looked at tutorials. I think it's easy enough that I think I can do this. The only thing is the whole yarn management of not two, but three of these. So that would be my only concern, but hoping that that gets you. Mm. This focusing stuff, I don't like to focus on knitting, but it's pretty. It's got uh, all the pinks, all the purples and uh, little dash of orange, little dash of yellow in there. Very pretty. Um, it'll, I'm looking forward to this being maybe a summer, uh, not a summer, a Christmas uh, knit that I can wear during the season. So as you can see, they're not identical, obviously. And the third one is even a little bit lighter, but I thought I'd try to get the neckline in these two colors and then start the helical knitting. So those are the three projects that I cast on. 
I'm really enjoying them. Haven't done anything since um, Sunday for them. I've been doing some other things I need to get off the needles. Um, the, the cotton and bamboo coral color, if you haven't been with me, uh, that I still need to work on the eye cord hem and then I'll have a new garment. Um, I've also been working on my anchor sweater and we have been extremely busy looking at houses. So, um, more on that later as things progress, but it looks like we have found a few that we really do like and we're likely to put an offer in um, this weekend. So, we'll see how that goes. Thank you again for all of you who stopped by. So, so glad. Um, my goal for this uh, little podcast, little channel, is that we develop a sense of community, and I think we have. And I want to thank Valerie Fisher for um, her giving us the technology so that we could Zoom together. Um, thank you. She has a podcast that you should check out. It's called A Visit with Nana and Papa, and it is with her husband, who is um, a movie connoisseur and reads lots of books. So if you like that kind of thing as well, he's there and Valerie is a master knitter. So I'm going to leave you. Hopefully you're not in the heat like I am. It We're having another heat, you know, like hell's oven uh, day today. But um, next week it's supposed to cool down a bit. So I'm hoping that that is indeed true. Stay healthy wherever you are. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Um.